Hi and welcome to the Stellenbosch CT scanner facility. This is the second video in our series to guide you through the process of viewing your CT data for the first time with the Volume Graphics MyBGL. First we will need to open your CT data set. For more guidance on how to do this, refer to our first video. The link is in the video description below. At first glance you'll see the following layout. On the left there is a bookmarks bar. In the center there are four windows. Three of them are 2D views through the X, Y and Z axis and the fourth is the 3D view. On the right you will see the scene tree and if you scroll down at the bottom you will see the histogram. In the rest of this video I will give you more detailed explanation on how each of these different views and tools work. The first one we will look at is the bookmarks bar to the left of your screen. The bookmarks act as a shortcut to specific analysis that was performed on your data. Double click on a bookmark and it will display the analysis. This is just a convenient way to quickly jump between the different analysis. Next we will focus on the scene windows. Most of the visualization and analysis is performed in the four scene windows. The top left and right and the bottom left window are 2D slice views through the CT dataset and the bottom right window is the 3D view of the sample. Next I will show you how to use the individual windows. To improve its ability, I will close the bookmarks bar for now. When you hover your mouse cursor over any of the 2D views and scroll the mouse wheel, you will slice it through the CT dataset. Your exact position in the sample will be indicated by a slice plane in the 3D view, as you can see in the bottom right. Each axis is displayed as a different color, either red, blue or green. By holding down control when scrolling in the 2D view, you can zoom in and out of the sample as follows. You can also move the 2D view around to focus more on a specific region. To do this, hover the mouse over the 2D view, press and hold down the mouse wheel. You will see that the mouse cursor changes from an arrow to a hand. While holding down the mouse wheel you can move around the sample. Take note, this does not move the sample, only the slice plane as can be seen in the 3D view. A small tip, in case you lose your sample in the 2D view, you can double click or click the focus selected object box and the sample will jump back into view. An easy way to get a better look at each slice image is to expand a single scene window. For the 2D view you click on the top right corner, toggle full screen state. You click the same button to go back to the full view window. The same action applies for the 3D view, however the button is at the bottom right corner. The last window we will look at is the 3D view. In most cases it works the same as a 2D view. When you hold down control and scroll you can zoom in and out of the sample. However moving the sample is a bit different. At the bottom of the 3D view there are two buttons. Rotate and Move. When hovering over the 3D view you can switch between these modes by double clicking the mouse scroll wheel as follows. You will see the edges around the sample change from red to green. Red is for rotate and green is for move. In rotate mode the sample is rotated in 3D space. When clicking and holding down the mouse wheel you can rotate the sample around a single axis as follows. Double click the mouse wheel to change to move and now the sample is moved around in 3D space. Clicking and holding down the mouse wheel allows for a quick in and out zoom when moving the mouse backwards and forwards. Next we will look at the heart of your dataset and analysis. This can be found in the scene tree to the right. 
In case you do not see this, click on the Tools drop down and click Scene Tree. Make sure that there is a tick mark next to it. For now, I'll only give you a brief overview of some of the features in the Scene Tree. The Scene Tree is where you'll find the data set and all the analysis that has been performed. The plus and minus boxes expand and collapse these analysis. Each dataset and analysis can be activated and deactivated by ticking and unticking the boxes next to the item. All the information about each analysis can be found by double clicking the analysis. This has been a very quick introduction on what to expect when opening your data with MyVGL for the first time. In videos to come we will explore some of the features in more detail. Thank you for tuning in. Also please like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.